Okay, what is going on you guys? Sparky Cruise here for a video. I'm going to be telling you how to build an M26 mini Lego Pershing today. Let's get to it. Okay, so we're going to start here, guys. So here's how it starts. Okay. You're going to need this black piece here with a with one of these. That's the start. You need two of those opposite ends. Start. You will put those together like so. Right here. You will need one of these. You're going to put it on like that. Simple as that. Okay, then for the next step, you're going to put this on there like that. And after that, you will need one of these pieces. And you'll put it on under here. This is making the lower slanted hull for the plate. This is making the lower slanted hull. Next, what you will do is you will take, you will need two of these and two of these. Also, as well as four of these and two of these. So I'll start building that here. like so. So you can get little track guards here that will eventually, that will be the track guards. So let me build the other one. All right, so that you have that piece here, then you're gonna put this one on here. Remember, this whole thing is making the track guards. All right, there's the other track guard. So now you have both track guards there. Now, what you wanna do next so you want to take one of these flat pieces and you take that and put it on there like that with one of these pieces. Then to fill out the back, this is where the engine will be. You need one of these solid or open will do. Put that right there. Then you'll need one of these kind of graded pieces here. That goes on like so to give it a kind of a engine design there. Then on the back of that you'll take a vent piece. Put it right on there like that. So there you have the back where the engine will be. Next to finish up the hull all you gotta do is take one of these, put it right here, and take this flat piece, put it here. So, now you have the hull of the tank. Um, you can use these, or there's another piece that you can use. If you have any of these pieces that go, that are as long as this, you can use those for your tracks too, but I do not, unfortunately. So. I use these as the tracks. So there's the tracks. Okay, now we'll get onto the turret. Okay, so here we go, guys, to get onto the turret. You're going to start with one of these pieces with all the holes around it. Start with that. You'll put one of those on there, just like so. Put one of these. 
right there. Try to get them really straight because you need it for the turret when it goes together. So have them straight, nice and straight. Then on the back you will put any little flat piece one will do. So there is the base of your turret. This is what will create your turret here. Now next, what you want to do is you want to take two of these and put them on the sides where those holes were. Make sure that they flatly smush against the turret so you want that all aligned so your turret doesn't look wobbly. Next, you're going to need another two more of these. And you put them on there like so to create the back of your turret. So right here is the back. We'll get to the front now. Now what we're going to do for the front here, you're going to take one of these pieces with the upward facing hook. You're going to put it on the right side to simulate the rail that is on the side of the Pershing tank. Then it's up to you what you want to do on this side. You can choose a completely flat piece or like I did, you can take one with a hole on it. Put it on there and take an extra black piece or whatever for something and use it as extra track links for detail. So I just use that for extra track links. Now next, obviously we add the mantlet. Just simple one of these pieces. Put it right there on the front. And your gun will be one of these pieces. Put into the hole there with one of these. And obviously that just slides on like slow. You got your turret. And then what you do is you take that, you put it on this knob here, put it on, and you have the tank. Now, it's up to you if you have Legos like this. Here is something that I like to do. Now, if you guys have a good bit and are willing to break your Legos, but this could be a piece to make a machine gun. If you have one of these, you can just cut one end off and put it in the top here as a little machine gun. So then you have your full-fledged Pershing mini tank. The M26 Pershing was used at the end of World War II. About 200 were distributed to armored units, and it was also used in Korea by the U.S. Army. It could take on easily the T-3045. It was a far superior tank than that one, and it was one of the best tanks of the Korean War. So there's that one, guys. Hope you enjoyed my creation. Hope you can enjoy building them, too.